How to add a PayPal button to Hostinger Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to add a PayPal button from the official app or the official website of PayPal to your website. The process is going to be very easy and quick. So you're going to head over to Hostinger.com, sign in for your account, and you're going to see this page panel. You're going to click on Websites, click on Websites list, and from here, you're going to select one of the websites that you own and want to add the PayPal button to. And do not forget to check for the Hostinger logo in here. So you have here, as you can see, the WordPress logo. So we are not going to mess with that. We're going only to use this one. We're going to click on Edit Website. From here, we're going to wait for the dashboard to load up. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to head over PayPal. So you're going to sign in for your account on PayPal. You need to have at least a uh, PayPal business, I think, for that process to be set because it is not going to be for the individuals. Now, as you can see, we have the business account. Uh, also, we have the business tools, as you can see. Now, what can you do or what uh, are you going to do with this platform? So for the quick links, I, as you can see here, we are going to see pay links and buttons, or you can go ahead and click on pay and get paid. And then you're going basically to see the specific here links, as you can read pay links and buttons. We're going to click on it. And then we're going to have the option or the privilege to create the smart button. So either you're going to have a payment link and a QR code or a payment button like this. Basically, I'm going to have here a payment link. So we are going to create the product or the service. For example, you can have a single product or service, variable product or services, or customized uh, or custom, uh, as you can see, defined. So we are going to have here, for example, test. I'm going to name it as test. Product ID, we are going to give it an ID. The price of it, for example, $10. You can go ahead if you're going to have here an item or a physical item, let the customer buy multiple items. For example, if you're going to sell t-shirts and etc., and you can go ahead and refuse to collect the customer shipping address if it is going to be a digital product, of course. Then you're going to set up the shipping fee. For example, I'm going to have it here as a free, but you can go ahead and put the shipping or a specific shipping fee. And the tax rate, if you want, I'm going to put this as not applicable and the label for custom notes. So we have here the customize the button. As you can see, we have the sticky button or a single button or stacked button, not a sticky one. So you can go ahead and have it like this. So I'm going to uh, finish my work in here by customizing the thank you message. She is going to have here, for example, a custom URL to uh, be in here for after they have paid everything and etc. And this is it. When you finish, you're going to click on build it. Then you're going basically to get the code. So you're going to use the code language of HTML, copy your code, head over your hosting group site builder, select the place that you want to add this specific button to. For example, I'm going to head over the page of products. I'm going to select one of the products like this, and I'm going to add the PayPal button. How we can do that, click on add elements, scroll down, have your embed code in here, and we are going to uh, close that. Where is the PayPal or, or where is the custom code? So I think that we cannot add it in here. So it is okay. So I'm going to add here a blank section, and we are going to add a, add a heading. I'm going to type in here buy with pay cell, for example. I'm going to have it right there. Unfortunately, we cannot add something here to the product, as you can see here. Edit section. Basically, we cannot add some buttons in here. Everything is going to be stock. So we are going to have here the elements. I'm going to add here the code. I'm going to double tap, select all the code, replace it with that embed code, and boom. This is the PayPal checkout, as you can see. 
basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching do not forget to update your website and hope to see you soon on the next one